Listen, I, hmm, Gypsy Rose Lee, right? If you're not familiar, very, very interesting story. Gypsy Rose Lee is, is, is that's not her name. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. So her whole story is actually quite sad. Gypsy Rose was a victim of her mother's Munchausen by proxy, which means basically you inflict pain on, on someone or inflict like abuse on someone basically to give yourself like this feeling of like, oh, to get attention basically. Gypsy is from Missouri. I don't know where exactly that is, but we know it's, in the United States. <laughs> she basically convinced her online boyfriend to unalive her mother. Gypsy was actually a, a victim of years and years and years and years of abuse from her mum. Dee Dee, I think her name was. And you you need to watch like the thing, what's it called? The, the TV program about it, or watch a real thing about it, whatever. This mother, Dee Dee, basically convinced Gypsy that she was sick her whole life. She had in a wheelchair, feeding tubes. She was giving her medications, all this stuff, when there was absolutely nothing wrong with her at all. So she was sentenced to 10 years. She This isn't turning into like a true crime pod podcast, by the way. I just want to explain the situation. She was sentenced to 10 years. She served 80% of her term in prison and she was released a few days ago from filming this video, right? Here's what I want to focus on today is the content that people are making around Gypsy's release into the world. It's it's a very strange, like, it's like cutesy, like, I don't know how to describe it. You'll see, of course, with the clips. Okay, let's start with this, because this is this is basically how it started, right? I When people were like, oh, she's being released soon. Uh, things like this started coming up. Six more days, countdown, and the bars are going up. This is obviously her when she was a child. Oh, her mum used to dress her like terribly as well. And then we have this one which is, today is the day and the bar's going up. It's, someone has sat and made this. Someone has taken that picture, put it in that animation of the bar's going up to, to celebrate her release. Now listen, whether, this isn't about whether or not we agree with her being released from prison or what she did. She was a victim for a very, very long time. This is about the content people are making around it. So let's just remember that. And I'll play like two, three seconds of the audio just in case it gets copyright strike, strike it stricken. <laughs> <laughs> it's just—it's a very strange situation, along with the the music and the image and the situation. It's just very, very strange. Okay, so let's take a little bit more of a look at people preparing for Gypsy Rose to come out of prison. I, so, as I said, I want to look at it, at it from this point of view. She has been in prison for, what, seven, eight years? Right after the murder of her mother, right? And pe people are being like, yes, yes, mama. You know, like, queen, queen, boots. You know, it's like, leave her the fuck alone for a minute, just for a minute. Like, chill the fuck out. We don't know her, you know, where she is mentally. We don't know how she's gonna deal with this, all of this social media fame on the outside of prison is, oh, I mean, she's releasing a book and she has a lifetime thing. <laughs> but like, but like, give her time. Let's look at people preparing for Gypsy to come out of prison. Full circle moment. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is out of prison on the 28th of December. Again, it's like, she ate. It's like, okay, all right, calm down. What's the first thing Gypsy Rose should do after getting out of prison? Get her nipples pierced. Wow! <laughs> Today's a great day. Gypsy Rose is a free woman as she deserves. The world is her oyster. The world is her oyster, sir! Her oyster! Oh. Oh. What do you think Gypsy Rose should do after getting out of prison? I speak no English. All we have to say is just free Gypsy Rose. What's the first thing Gypsy Rose should do when she gets out of prison? Become a uh, vegan. That would be a great choice. Uh, I'm not sure who Gypsy Rose is. She's getting freed. She's now 32, and so she's gonna become a vegan. What's the first thing Gypsy Rose should do? She's getting released. Oh my. Every club, go to every club. Every club. She go party. Gypsy Rose, if you want to do an unaware collab, come on girl. I have a lot of stories to tell you and I know you have a lot of stories to tell me. Here's the deal, right? She's gonna be kind of a celebrity figure now. I don't feel like she can just go out in public and and um go to clubs and and shit like that also it's not that fun in your 30s i also think that it's probably not the best idea for gypsy to become vegan as soon as she comes out of prison especially after all that prison food like get yourself a good steak or something and then become vegan you know what i mean veganism's great not for everyone it's great it's an option but you know actually i don't know what they eat in prison i imagine it to be like airplane food you know, let me know down below. This is, this is disrespectful. Are we the first people to ghost hunt at Gypsy Rose and Dee Dee Blanchard's home? 
we got some crazy evidence. Here's a sneak preview. Yeah. This one's not orange. You can't see it because it's. This is at a so seven. They right are now. at about the same level, they actually. Because this one's in the yellow. So. The full investigation will be released December 28th, the day Gypsy Rose will be released from prison. I have to watch that because I wonder if the people who now live there let them in their house or if they just walked around the street being like yeah we're here to do some ghost hunting with these things that noise at all that sounded nothing like it really annoyed it really gets to me i i i want to watch that full investigation maybe that maybe we can watch it together i don't know let's do that um disrespect disrespect i still think it must be a little bit weird for like imagine if like gypsy saw that and they're like oh they're trying to contact my mum. i that's really strange i think that's i don't know how to feel about that i'm sorry but gypsy rose gets out of prison in a week after seven years and she doesn't even know an entire generation has been counting the days down forever and now this fan page's first traps podcasts etc we really set her up to be the biggest content creator of this era it does make me wonder though because she is coming out with a book which i think will be really interesting actually a really interesting read to kind of get in the mind frame of where she was, not if I want to be in the mind frame, but understand the mind frame where she was, you know what I mean, in this period of time. I think that would be so interesting. I also think she might be aware, I mean, you're in prison, but I don't know how cut off from life you are, but perhaps she has some contacts that are like, you know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that support you. First traps, not sure that's necessary. Um, I mean, technically she is a criminal, right? She went to prison. She's also a victim of abuse. But there are so many people that get obsessed with criminals and their stories. I think it's one thing to be interested in what happened, but to be obsessed, like imagine sitting on your phone and making thirst traps of Gypsy Rose. <laughs> Okay, this is mind boggling to me, right? Listen to this. I so truly think Gypsy Rose is about to have the same like career pivot, career arc as Anna Delvey. I think this woman is about to become like a gay legend. Like she's about to develop like a fan base. Like people are really gonna like ride for her because like Anna Delvey was like scammer, bah, like all this bad press, whatever. And then she started like throwing down in the courtroom and bitches like loved it. Like, I could see Gypsy Rose fucking up like a Mew Mew matching set with like some cute loafers. Like, But I actually think she is going to become one of those like hyper, sensationalized like gay characters that just like gay people just like love she got like a marketing team hey y'all like tap in i'm i'm like it with with the people here she gets released from jail in 11 days i feel like her team has a lot to do from now until then but um i'll be so curious like is she gonna get like a normal job is she gonna do like a crazy press run i would love to see wendy williams fucking interview gypsy rose holy shit put gypsy rose on like jimmy fallon or something like publicity blackout like go crazy i am just so fucking ready for all the fan edits of her like leaving jail or of her like getting her handcuffs off and it's gonna be like it's gonna be like 212 by Azalea Banks. Everyone's gonna be like, mother, oh my god. I'm just, it's gonna be so funny. This is what, like, this is what I mean. Like, what has she done that makes her a gay icon? You know, gay men, we do kind of idolize iconic women. Usually they're like, you know, they've actually done something to, to make themselves like, um, worship worthy. You know what I mean? I don't know what this person's talking about. Also, Wendy Williams won't be interviewing her. You know the whole situation, right? Remember, we have to remember the circumstances, but there's a criminal charge there, or there's a charge there, you know? But I do think she will have a career. Like I said, she has a book, all this kind of stuff. I do think she's gonna make a lot of money. I don't think she'll need a normal job. She's gonna make a lot of money from that book. TV appearances, like she's gonna need a manager, which I'm sure she already has because she would have had to have one to get this book deal of a lifetime thing as well. She's sorted, she's sorted, trust me. I think she's gonna be all right. Okay, here's another whole thing now. So Gypsy Rose loves Taylor Swift, right? So now everyone is trying to get Taylor Swift to meet Gypsy Rose. I would love to know your opinion on this. This whole situation, is it good publicity? Watch this. 
Gypsy Rose, the most well-known victim of Munchausen by proxy syndrome, is being released from prison this December, and she's already planned her first outing. She's going to be going, apparently, to a Chiefs game and hoping to meet Taylor Swift. Gypsy Rose is coming to the end of what would have been a 10-year sentence. She's being paroled this December, and she says that she and her husband, Ryan, who she married in prison, have tickets for the Chiefs game for December 31st. So they will be ringing in the new year and hoping to meet Taylor Swift at the Chiefs game. We'll see, wait, oh, that's today. I'm filming this on December the 31st. I wonder if she did meet her. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been ordered by police to leave the state of Missouri immediately. According to TMZ, the 32-year-old Munchausen by proxy victim was told by her parole officer that she and her family had to get out of Missouri. There's no official word on the decision for her exit, but local law enforcement officials spoke to the state corrections unit and notified them they wanted her to leave to avoid any security issues due to her popularity. Blanchard is said to be upset since she, along with her husband, had tickets for the Kansas City Chiefs game and will also miss out on the opportunity to meet up with her idol, Taylor Swift. Let's see everyone's reaction to Gypsy coming out of prison. What was the first thing, thing she did when she came out of prison? Bought these new shoes. She's just out of prison and going shopping. It's the first video of Gypsy Rose Blanchard with her husband after she was released from prison in the pre-dawn hours today. Do you have any plans? Lots of Gypsy Rose Blanchard was a victim of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a condition in which a parent fakes or exaggerates a child's illness to get attention. In Gypsy Rose's case, her disturbed mother tried to convince everyone the girl suffered from leukemia and muscular dystrophy. Fed up with years of unnecessary medical treatment, Gypsy Rose got her then boyfriend to stab her mother 17 times. They later posted a Facebook message saying that blank is dead. The boyfriend, Nicholas Godijohn, got life. Gypsy Rose got 10 years. Now 32, Gypsy Rose was picked up by her husband in a Cadillac when she was released from a prison in Missouri at 3.20 a.m. A few hours later came the couple's hand-in-hand -hand trip to the shoe store. The Gypsy Rose Blanchard case has been featured several times on TV. Actress Patricia Arquette played the mom in a 2019 Hulu limited series. Mira, mira on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? You are. No, you are. And Lifetime has an upcoming three-part documentary called The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. The first time I tried to run away, she chained me to the bed. Now a new life of freedom awaits this headline-making young woman. This is quite sensory overload for her. Her world has been beige, and now it's in color. So she gets out of prison, she buys new shoes because she was wearing she was wearing some pretty ugly shoes. But as I said, she's got she's got stuff coming up, she's got stuff planned. Let's end of this tweet, right? This user says, imagine just getting out of jail and cameras are being shoved in your face every second. Correct. Let her live. Damn, not everything needs to be fucking recorded. Hashtag gypsy rose. Yeah, give her give her a minute, give her a week a month to just be out of prison, be with her husband, do things, gather the information she needs to gather. Then she can go on her book tour. <laughs> then she can do like her lifetime, you know, all this stuff. But just give the girl time to breathe. Come on. Many people are embracing you out there. Millions of people following you on social media. Yet you were convicted of helping to kill your mom. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any conflict with that? You've got fame even though you participated in a murder? Of course I feel conflicted. Um, fame is not what I'm looking for. Um, I always said I think I'm infamous, and then I came out famous, but that's not what I want. So I think coming from where I was to where I am now, I think there is a transformation going on with me um, internally. And I think people will see it externally really soon. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.